which is this information is specific for our under five, under six, and under seven coaches. I'm on our website, omahafc.com, and I'm going to click on the YDP portion. If you scroll down, you'll see some information about our basic program, our parents' information, and then finally the gameplays I want to share with you. This is our under five and under six gameplay. Your age group is located on your roster, so if you're unsure of your age group, you should be able to look on the roster and see that. Our fields are striped in blue, so the 25 by 25 field I'm outlining will be striped with blue. Each coach will have or grab one set of pug goals, and in a bag there are two goals. So each coach brings two goals and sets them up on the field. Very simple, though we do expect some challenges this season because of the drag ground. In under five and under six portion of our league, play is 3v3. You can see the three yellow and three red players on the field. The game is player-centered in that all the balls are given to a coach or an assistant coach or a parent who's helpful, and the coach or assistant plays the ball in, so the game is continuous. Since players aren't capable of throw-ins or kick-ins, we don't have them do them. But we do want the ball to be played in on the ground, either to space or to a player, so that the player is forced to turn with the ball, make a touch on the ball, or make a decision as to where the best space for them to go without pressure is with the ball. For this game, the yellow team is scoring on these two goals, the red team these two goals. So one team goes north and south, one team goes east and west. With our youngest players, it's simplest if you physically just go out on the field with the first three players and point in one direction with your hands so that the players point towards the goals where they're going to score. Our players at this age are going to play four 12-minute quarters. You can sub whenever you need to. Sub according to the player's needs, which may change early on in the season. They'll be pretty out of shape. Or if it's an especially warm spring or fall day, you might have to sub more often. Here's the gameplay for our under sevens. Those of you with an under six team will move to this format in the fall. Still um, two sets of goals to a field, the same 25 by 25 blue striped field, only now the field becomes directional. The reason we start this is under seven. This is the first time when we are recognizing that players are cognitively able to begin partner play. So they might pass with one other player, connect with a wall pass, or a give and go as you might hear it called. So four versus four, same uh, format where the coach plays in the ball, except for after a goal is scored. After a goal is scored, we're going to have the team start with a kickoff like you see now. The ball's set in the middle. I'm assuming that that yellow team has been scored on, and hopefully they're going to take the ball up, these two players, and do a pass forward to their own teammate. The ball cannot go back on a kickoff at under seven. It must go forward, but two players can come in and play as partners. Finally, at the under seven game, yellow is scoring at these two goals. Red is scoring at these two goals. It allows the player to either cross the ball or play away from pressure when they have a defender in the way. Also, I want to reiterate that on your schedule, the first team listed is home team and wears black. The second team listed is away and will wear white. You can look for any of the staff on site to help you either myself, Christina, or Jen at the Southwest site, or at the Northwest site, Renee or Jen. Please let us know how we can help. For those of you at the Northwest site, you will check out goals from the coaches meeting, and you will bring them to each game. The Southwest site, our goals are always kept in the red shed, so you will grab them from there and then return them to the red shed after each game. Again, we appreciate everything you do. Thank you for your time.